right, welcome to part three on the 1985 Honda 200X. As you guys know, last video we picked this thing up for, what was it, $1,100, but uh, it had a couple problems. Didn't run, didn't have spark, and um, it would not shift into fourth gear. So we got it running and driving, we took it for a little ride, and uh, sure enough, it was not shifting into fourth gear. So I tore apart the engine here, and check out the gears in there. You can see they're stripped, completely stripped. That thing is supposed to look like this, and that one's all pitted and really bad, you can see. So the transmission was junk on this thing. I was going to buy separate gears for it, but each gear was around $100, so I decided to pick up this transmission, complete 1984 Honda 200X transmission for, it was $175 for the complete transmission. So these are really, really nice. Um, no damage to the gears at all. So what we're gonna do is swap this into here, and we should be all set. This bike ran and drove fine, it's just fourth gear was out. So once we swap over this into there, we should be good to go. We also got new piston rings for it, um, standard uh, bore piston rings, and then we got a full gasket set from Vertex. So we're going to first swap in the gears, put the engine back together, and then hopefully get this thing running and driving today. So stay tuned, should be a fun video. All right, here is the new transmission. We uh, made sure all the washers and everything were in here. Everything is perfect because we took that out and just copied that. And then um, everything looks pretty much the same. The only thing I can see that's different, which might be a problem, is this gear right here. You can see the teeth are worn off at the end. And that's for the starter, I believe. And this one is not. You can see there's no teeth worn off or cut at an angle right there like this one. So that's the only difference I can see. And then it looks like fourth gear is a little bit wider. So this gear is a little bit wider than that one. And this one, it, this one over here is a little bit wider than this one. So hopefully they cancel each other out and um, it works, but we might have to switch this gear over to that one. I'm not too sure. Um, hopefully it works, otherwise we're kind of SOL. But uh, we'll try to get this back in and see if we can make this work. All right, so an 84 transmission was pretty different. I was able to kind of manipulate it and uh, switch over the gears from this one to that one. And uh, I put the case together just for testing purposes. And it shifted fine through all the gears and uh, the starter mechanism works. So I'm thinking we've got it. We're going to get the gasket on now. We've got this all prepped here. I cleaned it all out with uh, brake cleaner and then cleaned all the surfaces. The uh, surfaces where the gas, the old gasket were, were really hard to get off. I did my best though. So what we're gonna do is just put some silicone on here, gasket maker. And we're gonna put it on both sides so that we have no leaking out of the case here. And we've got a brand new gasket for it. All right, we'll get the gasket on here. See, I believe it goes on like this. Hopefully it's the correct gasket here. Looks like it is. Now we're going to put gasket maker around the surface of that um, case just so that it uh, seals nice and tight.
but that seems like it's on there. Make sure everything moves here. Alright, let's get this thing bolted down. It's looking good. Alright. Still smooth. Crank is still good. Not tight. Alright, what we're going to do now is check it and see if it shifts. So let's do that next. Alright, we're going to shift through other gears right now. Right now we are in first gear, pop it up into neutral, spin smoothly, second, third, fourth, fifth, back down, fourth, third, second, neutral, first. Alright, that shifts really nicely. That's perfect. Alright, we got the timing chain on. So what I did to do this was loosen up the bolt right here and uh, slide that in. That tightens that down right here. And there's a pin behind here holding on the cam chain guide. And then this is spring loaded. You can see one part of the spring is down here, the other part is down here. And then that just sits in there like that. All right, let's get the clutch on next. All right, we're gonna put some Permatex around the edge right here, and then we're gonna fit the new gasket right up there. I can taste the finish line, but it's coming along. It's looking pretty good. And it was kind of hard to remember where everything went on this thing, because it's kind of, there's kind of a lot of parts. All right, we got the cover on, working on the kickstart mechanism now. So these are the gears that go in here. 
and you can see if I can get a clean surface here. There's two dots right here, one right here, one right here, and then one right there. So I line those up perfectly, and then there's a dot on the shaft right here, lined up with the dot right there, and then a dot right here, lined up on the shaft with a dot right there. So that's all perfect. Let's get the cover on. This cover goes on like that. And then the washer goes on like that. All right, good to go. All right, finally time for the top end. Normally I would assemble this engine in the bike because um, it's easier to torque down bolts and everything. But um, this engine requires you to install it before you put it in the frame because you can't physically install it in the frame. It's just too big. We're going to put a little Permatex around here and then we've got a brand new base gasket we're going to put on. All right, we're just gonna hone out the cylinder here quick. Got my little hone. Go all the way through. See it's nice and honed. Looks pretty good. All right, we've got the rings right here. Let's just take a look and see what they look like here. Here they are. Looks like it came with everything. All right, this black one is the second ring. Let's take a look and see what the specs are on this guy. If we look down there, that's plenty of clearance for the ring. You can see right here, there's the ring gap. Plenty of clearance. Um, We'll measure them as well, but just by eye, that looks like plenty of clearance. That's good. And the first ring, you can see, again, plenty of clearance. You can see the ring gap right there. So we're at 0.356 for the first ring. And for the second ring. Try the same one. Yep, same thing. 0.356 millimeters. So that is uh, good enough for me. All right, let's get the uh, piston on.
All right, engine is all back together, valves are adjusted, everything is perfect. Um, we've got the shifter lever on here, so this is all ready to go back into the frame. So let's get her back in here and see if she starts up. All right, she's back in there. Let's get it all bolted back up, get the carburetor on, get some oil in it, and uh, see if she starts up. We also have to get the clutch hooked up, see if that works. And then we gotta get the back brake and the kick lever on as well. All right, engine is back in, looking good. Pipe is back on. We got the carburetor back on. All we have left to do is add oil. I also check for spark, we've got good spark. So everything is set to go. It's coming along. First start coming up. Let's get some oil in here. I have to look up how much goes in here. It doesn't look like there's a amount stamped on the engine. So let's uh, look that up quick and then attempt the first start. All right, let's get some oil in here. Look it up. It takes about a quarter of oil. And in there. You always want to use wet clutch performance oil. Specifically for wet clutches, I'm using 10W40. Let's see if she leaks. I let it sit for a day so that the gasket maker would set up here. Looks like it's at the top here. That's good. All right. All right, we've got gas going to it. I'm gonna put the choke on. Maybe something got disconnected. Like a wire when I was paying out the gas tank. That could spark.
Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Must have timed it right. Sounds pretty good. No smoke. Sounding pretty good. No knocking going on in the engine. Really quiet for a Honda. Purring like a kitten. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Now, the real challenge is uh, will it shift and go in fourth gear? We will see. We're gonna let this warm up for a little bit, get those rings seated, and then. Uh, Go test her out, see what she can do. drives perfectly. All right, well this thing shifts great. Very, very smooth shifting. Uh, fourth gear works. I shifted into fourth, you could hear it pretty boggy because I wasn't going very fast, but shifted right into fourth, no issues there, and then shifted into fifth as well. So I think it's all fixed. We're gonna take this thing out to my parents and really let it rip. I got a new drone for Christmas from Jade, so we're gonna go test that out as well and uh, see if we can get some cool shots. So stay tuned. I'm pretty happy with it so far. It is not leaking one tiny bit at all from anywhere. This was super tight and uh, yeah, it turned out great so far. Let's go see if we can break her in. All right, all ready to go. I'll load it up. All right, finally made her out here. Lots of snow on the ground, so it should be pretty fun. Not too much though, I think maybe about two inches of snow. So perfect for uh, the three-wheeler here. Hopefully she starts up today, it's pretty cold. It's about uh, zero degrees with the wind chill, so. She's a little chilly out here, but not too bad. All right, let's get her off the trailer and uh, take her for a little rip.
man, that thing is so fun in the snow. Just rips it up. So much fun. We're going to uh, throw the GoPro on and uh, take it for a little GoPro ride. You can see it's just running perfect right now. That ain't good. <gasps> oh, that is not good at all. What happened here? <sighs> Just shut off. We run out of gas or something? That's not good. Oh, jeez. Turn up. Ooh. There's compression still. There we go. I don't know what the heck happened. I put it in reserve, so maybe we we're running out of gas.
the heck? Seems like we're running out of gas here. Kind of sputtering. Leaking gas? Doesn't look like it's leaking or anything. Maybe electrical is getting wet. Alright, so that wraps up today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Things are running really good, except I think these wires pulled out again underneath here, so it's, it keeps on turning off randomly. So we'll get that fixed up, but otherwise she rips pretty good. Shifts through all the gears perfectly. No issues there. Fourth gear works perfect. So that new transmission worked out great. And uh, that was from a 1984 on the 200X, kind of had to manipulate the gears. So if you're thinking about redoing the transmission, buy one for the actual year, saves you a lot of headache. But yeah, that uh, wraps up today's video. Thanks for watching guys, thanks for subscribing. Stay tuned for next video, and until next time, we are out.